Okay, so now we have a nice big long tube with waste yarn on either end. So what you can do if you're um, in a rush, you can just grab the two bits of waste yarn, pull tight and then stitch that together. Um, if you don't mind the gathered look, um, I won't mind to have a bit more of a rounded uh, bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a six millimeter nook. So this is just a crochet hook with a hole on the end. Um, and what we are going to do is we are going to lay this out like this. We're going to grab one side of the waist yarn. Okay, and that's going to go in the end of the nook. So I'm going to grab some yarn and looking at this. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, stitch two stitches together so we're going to do two together one and then um two together so for the first one i'm gonna got the waist yarn coming out um on the right and i'm going to put my crochet hook in from right to left just like that and i'm going to grab my new working yarn and pull that through and that's one stitch then we're just going to continue so crochet hook in the loop wrap the yarn around <laughs> the next one we're going to take two stitches so through one then through the next one yarn over and pull through two. So there we've got one normal stitch and one where we've stitched two together. Then we're going to do just one yarn over, pull through, and then the next stitch might be a little bit fiddly just while it's on the waist yarn for the first time. So we've got two on the loop there wrap the yarn and then pull through two loops. Once I've got a few on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a stitch marker. And if you don't have stitch markers, you can just use a bobby pin um, or just tie a little bit of yarn. And I'm just going to pop that in there just so I know that that's the very first stitch. So we're just going to continue that pattern all the way around. So that was two stitches. So then I'm going to do one. Once you start getting a few um, stitches on your hook and they're getting a bit close to the end, what we need to do is we need to transfer them onto the yarn. So you can see here, these, this is the stitch I've done, this is a stitch I haven't. So if you just pull your hook back, you should be able to separate them. And I'm just going to grab the waist yarn and give it a tug. And then what I'm going to do is just slide these stitches off onto the yarn. Pull that through and then just give it a tug so you've got more slack on your hook side. And there you go. So that was where we started. And then these are all new stitches that we've um, just knit. So then just carry on until you get to the green marker. Okay, so now we are back to the beginning. So I've got one stitch left and um, it hasn't been worked yet. And then we've got this as the stitch where we started. So I'm just going to pull on the uh, yarn just to make that stitch a little bit tighter. Okay. Um, so now we're just going to do that all again. So I'm going to stitch these two together, then just stitch one, two together, one. I 
one as I've done that and then I'm going to move the stitch marker up to that stitch and then I know that's the start of a new round yeah so we're starting to get the nice curved edge I am there so I'm going to do that two or three more times and um, we'll see how what that looks like okay so I'm pretty happy with that I think that is small enough um so what you want to do is get your working yarn and just chop that off Grab yourself a darning needle and we're going to thread that to the darning needle. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this thread and put it through where the purple uh, thread is right now. So. Okay, so that was the final one, so I'm just going to remove the stitch marker, remove the purple yarn, and I'm going to give this a tug, pull it nice and tight. Okay, then what I like to do is I just like to weave all around this again, so... tug and then I'm just gonna pop my needle through the hole on the top there and grab it from the inside okay and then I'm gonna turn this inside out so I can see what I'm doing <laughs> the yarn yeah, coming out the top and I'm just gonna tie it in a knot okay. and chop that off what I can also do right now is sort out these loose ends so I think there was one on the other side as well wasn't there So this loose piece of thread, I'm just going to thread that on my needle so then I can pop that through to the inside, grab the needle, and pull it through. And turn it back inside out. Okay, now we've got these two from that side. I'm just going to tie these in and up together. And cut off the ends. And I'm just going to turn this right side out. There we go, we have a nice domed shape there. Okay, 
instead of the pulled tight one. Okay, so now we're just going to do the same. For the white end. Okay, so now we've finished that and I've tightened that up at the top. Um, I've left that intact. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get where the colour change is and we're just going to fold the white part into the coloured part. Actually, it might be easier to do it this way. So what we're going to do, scratch that. So we're going to get to where the colours meet and I'm just going to fold the coloured part into the white part. So I'll scooch that all the way down to the bottom. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my needle through there and through the end there, pull that through. I'm going to turn this the right side around. Okay. Put my hand inside just so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to put it through a few stitches and make sure I'm going through both the white and the coloured part. Just a few stitches all the way around. Okay, and then I'm going to bury the needle back into the white part. Turn it back around so I can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to tie this off. Create a little knot and bury the end in there. Okay. And there you have it lovely baby cocoon you can fold over the top for a newborn and of course you can make a little matching beanie i'll leave the pattern um, i used to make this down below <laughs>